pouring, now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finished friends on my face. Looking like a front of D. These don't Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you do me, bro? Today I'm going to show you how to do an Imanari roll. The Imanari roll is a fabulous attack in which you take your opponent off guard and put him straight into a heel hook to finish the fight in just a couple seconds. So it's a high risk, high reward technique that looks absolutely awesome and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So to learn it, you should first learn to invert and how to enter into it. So you basically roll over the shoulder and take him down, go to X guard, and then you can attack the legs in any way you wish. If you've never done it before to practice it, it's best to practice it like this. Put your right knee on the floor and your right hand supinates towards the thumb to the inside of your partner's leg, like so. Then you roll on your right shoulder and look up to him, like this. Now I can enter my right leg between his legs and hook behind his right leg. And now I just bring the weight of my hip to my left, wham, which makes him fall. Keep control of that leg and then attack. Let me show you that again. Distance, ideal distance is when I can touch his forehead. That's the perfect distance to do an Imanari roll. Just before we enter into the clinch. Go down, hand in, lay on your right side and look up. Just lay on your back. Your legs are open. Lift your legs and your hip and bring your right leg between his two legs. My head is in front of his leg. If my head would be on his side, I would not be able to rotate my head like so. So I need to be here. I come up and now I bring my head under my arm to the other side. Like so. From here to here. I roll from one shoulder, from my right shoulder to my left shoulder over my scapula, over my shoulder plates. Like so, and I look up the whole time, hop. Then I change control of my hands, left hand grabs his ankle, right hand grabs his knee. I sit in, pull on the leg to keep his leg within my guard. Go to cross ashi and heel hook. If you manage to do the basics, to do the basic movement, now you can try to do it slowly, but continuously. So you basically roll over your right shoulder, up and in, bang. Almost like a Tudor roll, like so. But our legs will enter between his legs whilst we roll. So I come, I start rolling, bring my legs in and then continue with my roll. Bam, and I got leg control. Most importantly, I just choose a leg, choose the left one again. Most people are right handed, so I take the left leg, it's forward. I enter inside of his leg like so, with the outside of my thumb, with my blade, outside of the thumb, supinate to the inside of his leg, on the ankle, and my head stays in front of his shin. And I roll, and I attack. Boom. You can come a lot from the front, like so, and just rotate on your side, and then come up, like so, hop, coming in, Ratch. and you got it. Or you can be a little closer and then roll almost to the side, hop, and come in, also nice. 
or you can do a very sneaky variation of it and sit really close and enter your right leg as the first line of attack and then rotate several ways to do the Manari roll absolutely smashing techniques so the Manari roll is one of my favorite techniques because it's such a quick finisher uh, position before submission we take both at once it's a takedown fabulous one very low risk because I can hardly be countered and hurt myself with it so it's very good strategy if I can reach his leg and go for a low single I can instead just go for a Imanari roll and immediately have a huge amount of threat make him defend himself really quickly or the fight's already over for him the mechanic behind the Imanari roll is that you bring your momentum from the roll and take it with you so you enter, you roll, and now when I bring my leg in, it acts like as a fulcrum, so as a, as a lever. And I'm using the weight and momentum of my hip coming down to apply force to his left leg and stop his right leg from stepping back with my foot and his left leg I stop from stepping back with my left hand like so so i'm holding both his legs and my weight dropping down and my leg acting as a lever is applying the force to make him fall Oops. Oops. now you know it time to practice